Hello, 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 everyone. So today we're opening um, a Monster High Gen 3 Claudine. I have so many Claudine dolls in my collection that it's not even funny. Um, but I'm kind of nervous to like, get the Gen 1 and Gen 2 ones off the shelf. But I'm going I'm to give it a try. Uh, let's see. I know I have a Claudine. I know, like, this is one of my Claudines. She has stencils in her hair. She's got roller skates. Like, she is ready for action. And then, what other Claudines do I have? I have this Claudine. I'm only going to show you a couple of the older ones. I have this one um that I love and then I have some gen 2 Claudines and all kinds of Claudines in my collection because I loved like the main core girls a lot I had favorites okay Halloween was like my favorite out of all the characters and Draculaura and then Cleo Denial because it was my mom's favorite and reminds me of her so I always buy Cleo Denial first in line and then I'll buy, like, either Draculaura or Claudine. Or if they have Halloween, I'll buy Halloween. Um, and I love Teeth Burns. I really want to get Claude because I never got Gen 1 Claude. So I would like to get Gen 3 Claude. So I have a Claude in my collection. But um, we're opening up Miss, Miss Claudine from her, from her uh, box. And then, and the cool thing about it is you can just kind of unsnap and then just bend this. And just kind of get that off. And then you have the, the beautiful box art. Claudine is on the center over here. They always center the ghoul that's in the box is what I noticed. Now it says Claudine is a Clossum werewolf human. That's her monster type. Her monster must-haves are her fur eliminator brush and blue moon spookies. And her monster pet is Crescent, um, which is Crescent like a dog or whatever. I, I'm cu kind of curious to see her pet because her pets are kind of cute. I actually really like the Monster High pets. So this is little Crescent with her little, little moon. Crescent's cute. I like Crescent. She's like very purple, got like some pink eyes with the gold jewelry. Okay, so then we have Claudine's uh, glasses. They're gold. Uh, we have a gold, we have a gold brush. We have what looks like a gold, like half eaten, oh, like, maybe, like, some retainers or something. I don't know what these are supposed to be. It looks like they have teeth. Maybe it's, like, a little purse thing. I have no clue, y'all. It doesn't open, so I, I I don't know what it is. But it's cute. Uh, and then we have her Halloween. Oh. We have her... Howling Howl Puffs. Here's her Howl Puffs on this side. And oh. Here's her Howl Puffs on this side. And here they are on the other side. They're plastic with a sticker. But it's kind of what I expected for the price point. She does have her own um, phone, just like all the monsters come with. And it's got a little hook so the doll can hold it easier. But that's Claudine's phone. Uh, and then let's get her. Okay, and then she does come with like an extra accessory piece. And that accessory piece is her beautiful. Her beautiful jacket. Like it is gorgeous. And I'm trying not to like cut the fur as I as I get it out okay we got like a little could drinker here yeah oh 
Okay, there we go. It's got some kajinkers. Um, that's what I call them. They're like little plastic tags that kind of hold it in place. Um, it's just like a furry vest type thing. It's very furry. Um, the fa fur is, is, is all right. Um, I'm excited to see it on her, but I kind of like her without it. So I don't know. We'll see if I put it in with like my extra clothing and stuff for my dolls um, or whether I, I use it a lot. So then we're going to go So then she has this She has this really cool purse and it has this little like chain charm on it with like a moon. It's black. It's super cute. It even has like a moon pink patch on it. I really like it. I'm liking her so far. Like, she is, like, considering she's Gen 3, like, yes, I miss the OG girls, like, Gen 1 and how they were designed in style, but I actually really like Gen 3, too. And that might not be the most popular opinion, um, I don't think. But I'm gonna be honest, I, I don't mind it, and they feel, the only thing is the dolls feel like they're maybe, like, younger to me. Like, they don't feel as, like, mature. And I don't mind that. It's just different. I definitely think you could actually play with these dolls, like, with the Gen 1 dolls and just be like, yeah, they're sisters of, like, Claudine. Like, maybe it's Claudine's cousin or something. Like, I don't know. I feel like you could make that work. Because her hair is, like, a little lighter than, like, Claudine's is usually. I miss one. I'm wearing one of my stepdad shirts because I got it after he passed away. And it happened to match my skull leggings that I was wearing because I wanted to dress all Halloween themed but like not in a costume. And so I wore my dad's uh, shirt since he passed. And um, it is a comfort to me too uh, to wear it and like feel like he's with me. Um, she has beautiful accessories, this doll. But um, he... I remember, like, he and my mom got me so, and, and my brothers got me so many Monster High dolls, like, as a kid. Like, that was just something that they, like, they got me so many dolls in general as a kid. But, like, you know, because it was important to, like, me. And so they, uh, they always made sure they got me lots of dolls. And there is no doll stand, I know sad um one other thing i noticed though before i go shoot in this box way because i'm running out of room for box space um is they kind of design the side to like go with the doll like the necklaces the moon heart the phone the claw marks um and i did notice that on laguna and cleo but i don't think i said anything um because i didn't really put it together until like the third doll that that's what they were doing but I noticed like each design was different like you could totally take this one and say like this is her older sister because like this one's hair color is lighter it's got purple in it so you could play with it that way and still have like the OG girls while playing with the the gen 3 ones like I, you could just give her a new name I feel like that's what I'm gonna do because like this will always be like Claudine to me like this is the Claudine I grew up with okay she'll always be like the OG Claudine but I would also play with this one I would just pretend it's like one of her younger sisters because I'm cl sure Claudine has lots of them or maybe if it's a cousin or whatever um I love her black little um they're not even stockings they're just like kind of leg warmers with like the purple and gold shoes like these shoes are gorgeous she does have articulation at the knee, um, and it's a pretty good, like, range of articulation. Like, that is um, amazing. She has articulation at her hands, uh, at the elbow, and she kind of has some waist articulation. It's not, like, a lot. I don't know if the other dolls ha that I reviewed had, um, had the waist articulation either, and she has articulation at the head. 
she's very poseable, and I feel like I could get, like, a lot of pictures with her. I'll try her jacket and her glasses on her and see what I think. But I honestly think I'm going to prefer the look without the jacket, because the jacket just... I don't know, it feels, it, it doesn't feel like an expensive jacket. You know how like some fur jackets feel expensive or soft or cute and then others feel like it's a caveman rug? Um, <laughs> caveman rug. I don't know why I described it that way, but I feel like it's it's accurate to, to, to fur coats. Like this one feels like it could be like a carpet that I had under my desk that was turned into a coat. Like that's the feeling I get. Like, I've had some, like, fuzzy carpets when I was a kid. And that's what this coat feels like. It doesn't feel expensive. But I don't know. It's nice. It's cute. I don't mind it on her. I think I just prefer the overalls and the shirt. Um, so I'm going to take the vest off. But I actually really like her with glasses. I actually think the glasses go really nicely on her face. Um, so here's her little, little gold glasses. She's such a cutie with her little glasses. Such a cutie with her little glasses. And then she's got her little fangs out. She's letting you know she's a vampire, like, straight up front with them fangs. Uh, she has her hair, which is, it's a little bit of box hair, but it's, like, it's not quite curly, I would say. It's more like a wavy kind of texture. Um, her undershirt is um, pink with, like, moons on it. It's black with like pink moons on it is what I was trying to say. And the overshirt is purple. Um, and it looks like it has phases of the moon on the overalls. This is the kind of detail I want to see with Barbie clothes and like the kind of styles. Like why can't I get this with Barbie? Um, she has a gold belt. I love that I've noticed like Laguna got a belt. Claudine's getting a belt. Like they're really going big with the belts. Um, it's gold. It's very pretty. Uh, I want to see if her, okay, it is just a shirt. It is not a bodysuit. Um, so her shirt is a shirt. I was thinking maybe it was a bodysuit. Um, I wanted to, to check because I'm sure some of you guys would like to know that for like restyling purposes. But no, it's it's not a bodysuit. But she looks so cute. I love her. She got like, I think she even has, oh, you know what's sad? She has the most pretty brown eyes and freckles and uh, the glasses kind of hide her freckles, which makes me a little sad. Um, but she has, like, pretty... And then, like, the tip of her nose is just slightly brown, kind of like a dog has, like, a little spot on its nose. I don't know. I really like her. Um, I really like her. And she feels very young and youthful. And like I said, as far as, like, my dolly verse, I'm just going to say she's, like, a cousin or a sister to Claudine. Because I don't know how many siblings Claudine had, you know. <laughs> I really don't. I mean, I watched the shows, but, you know, she could have more. They're werewolves. She probably, or maybe it's a pack mate. I don't know. You know, cousin, pack mate, whatever. But uh, I'm going to play it that way when I play with my dolls. Uh, at some point this month, I would like to, like, switch over the dollhouse from Rainbow High to Monster High. Uh, but it might take me a bit. I'm not rushing it. Um, that's just something I want to do for, like, Halloween. You know, switch up the dolly, the dolly house. But I'm gonna get my Monster High dolls slowly in there with pictures. I just think she's so cute. I love the little, like, curls. Curly bang, like, on the side there. I love how they put a little bit of her hair in a little bow and a ponytail. And it travels back down and it's a little shorter than the rest of her hair. I feel like that style is really, really cute. Um, she's got kind of like a nude lipstick with like purple eyeshadow that I find really iconic. She even has like painted on baby hairs. Like that is the attention to detail we need. Good going, Claudine. You looking fabulous. You looking clawsome and you know it. She looking clawsome. Um, but thank you for joining me in this video. Let me know, do you like the Gen 3 Claudine better or are you more a Gen 1 fan? Um, let me know in the comments uh, down below and I will see you all next time. Bye everyone.